everybody. Welcome to JoJo's Corner. Today I'm excited to be reviewing a book for you guys and it's titled Waking Hours by Liz Will. And it's an East Salem novel. It's the first in a new series by Liz Will. And I'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis for you guys. It says, Welcome to East Salem, a deceptively sleepy town where ancient supernatural forces are being awakened. A local high school girl is found murdered in a park amid horse farms and wealthy homes of northern Westchester County, New York. The shocking manner of her death confounds the town and intrigues forensic psychiatrist Danny Harris, who is determined to unravel the mystery. All the suspects are teenagers who were at a party with the girl, yet none remembers what happened. Could one of them be a vicious killer, or is something more sinister afoot, something tied to an ancient evil? But it's not just her waking hours that challenge Danny. Each night, her eyes open at 2.13 due to troubling dreams, dreams filled with blood, water, and destruction. Is it a clue or a supernatural sign? Across town, former NFL linebacker Tommy Gunderson finds his state-of-the-art security system has been breached by an elderly woman. Mumbling threats in Latin, she attacks him with an uncanny strength. Before he has time to process the attack, someone close to him is implicated in the girl's murder at the park. He agrees to help and finds himself working with Danny, the only girl who could resist his charms years ago when they were in high school. A heavy darkness is spreading. Yet a heavenly force is also at work. I'm going to show you the cover again. It's Waking Hours by Liz Will. And it's co-authored with Pete Nelson. Yeah. Um, when I first heard about this book, I was uh, super excited to read it because I thought it would be something that I was totally interested in. Um, and bringing in the small town story as well as the supernatural elements. I love stories about where strange things happen in small towns. Probably a few chapters in, I was sort of getting disappointed with the story. I didn't really think there was enough character development. I didn't really feel like I it was even rooting for the main character. I thought it was just kind of like... I don't really care what happens to these people and you know just sort of disconnect there and when I read I love to have a strong you know liking for the main character I like to um, you know sort of want to root for them through whatever they're going through and I didn't feel this immediately with this story um, it sort of took a while and uh, Sometimes I thought um, the romantic aspects of the story were a little bit awkward and um, just really wasn't even have much care for that part of the story. Um, and then too, throughout the story, there were some things happening that were supposed to be, I guess, uh, mysterious or creepy and... For me, it was just sort of falling flat a little bit, um, and I probably a hundred pages in just thought maybe I had made a huge mistake in choosing this book to read. Um, I just kept saying, I hope this gets better. <laughs> um, but I was determined to stick with it because of my review and also just to see where the story went and to see if I would be proved right that this was a horrible read. <laughs> um, and I have to say, after finishing the book, I highly recommend it. <laughs> even though it took a while to get going, even though it seemed to start kind of slow um, and the characters kind of had to grow on me, I wound up finding that the last ten chapters of the book were really, really good. As I said in my TBR video, I'm not really into the crime genre. Um, although I do love good mystery, I love suspense, uh, things like that. Um, to me, it's just the all the forensics of the crime 
novels and like the CSI type stuff. I'm not really into that. But I would say if you are into that, then you will absolutely adore this read. Um, because it does have a lot of that, you know, it has a, a good bit of the forensic type stuff. And I think that may be what kind of turned me off to it in the beginning. Um, because I'm not really into that. Um, so, but what I really liked about the story was that, um... I liked the dialogue between the main characters and the teenagers when they were questioning them about the crime and things like that. The back and forth, kind of like the the interrogation type stuff, you know. I really enjoyed that. I thought that was written really well. And, and yeah, I really enjoyed that. Also, um, some of the romantic aspects got a little better. Um... And it did, didn't seem as awkward as the story went along. Huh. Uh, baby had to join us in the video. <laughs> um, but um, something else I really liked about this story was, um, like, the end. <laughs> Not where it stopped, but, but the last few chapters, the way the story ended, the way it tied everything up. I really enjoyed it. I was kind of wondering where it would go. I kind of had drawn my own conclusions and was highly, highly surprised at the end of the story, the way the way it ended, the way it tied things up. I kind of wondered, because this is a series, how much it would leave hanging. And yeah, it, it satisfied me, you know, a lot, the, the way that it ended. Um, but it also does leave it open for another story. Um, so I'd say like, would I read this story again? I don't know. Maybe if I had like a lot of time on my hands. But will I read the second one? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I will. I'm looking forward to it. So that's my review for Waking Hours by Liz Will. Like I said, if you're into the crime fiction, I think you'll love this read. And if you've read it, leave your, leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of it. If you're thinking about reading it. Um, yeah. So, from JoJo's Corner. Bye, everybody.